So today, I'm gonna show you how to get the best video quality when recording gameplay through OBS on your Mac. Let's get ba 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 -rudal. What's up everybody, it's your boy, the Fortitron. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get the best quality gameplay footage out of OBS with your capture card and on Mac. Let's get into this. So before we get into it, I just wanna let you know, you will need some stuff to be able to do the things that we're gonna do in this video. So one, you need a capture card. So I highly recommend the Elgato HD60S Plus it's got USB 3.0, it can do uh, up to 1440p, uh, 60 frames per second, uh, very good capture card, and the latency on this capture card is almost negligible. Definitely recommend it, but get any capture card that has UVC support. If you wanna know more about that, I got a video up here that you can watch. The next thing, you're gonna need a Mac. This is a Mac walkthrough, so you could probably do this on PC as well, but this is mainly Mac focused. The next thing that you're gonna need, you're gonna need OBS Studio. So I use OBS Studio, I don't use Streamlabs OBS. If you use Streamlabs OBS, this might work for you, but I can't guarantee it. There might be other tutorials out there uh, for how to do this, but I'm using OBS Studio. And the last thing, a console of your choice. So any console that has HDMI will work for this. All right, now we got all that out of the way, I'm gonna hand it over to VoiceOver James. Over to you, voiceover James. Thanks, Talking Head Fornitron. All right, so we're gonna be on our desktop here and we're gonna open up OBS. You should have your console already running going through your capture card. And as you can see here, I've got Returnal up. So let's make this bigger here. I would suggest, pro tip, make a separate scene for your video game recording. That way you don't have like all your watermark and like stream stuff overlaid over top. If you want just pure gameplay, make a new scene and just have it be your capture card and then your capture card audio. So you'll add a video input source and make that your capture card and you'll add an audio input source and also make that your capture card. I'm gonna show you how to record the best game footage in OBS for Mac here. So this is when you just choose start recording and this is when you're just recording to a specific location and then you have your game footage for later. This is not for streaming, I stress that. This is not for streaming. Do not choose these settings for streaming. It's way too high and you won't have the internet bandwidth for it. All right, so what we're gonna do is in OBS, we're gonna go to OBS at the top and we're gonna go to preferences. And then right here, we're gonna go to output. So not video, it's an output because that's where we are. And we're gonna go to recording and this is what you're gonna change. So you're gonna change your recording format to MP4. Uh, that's the most common recording format. It's the easiest to work with any video editor. So change it to MP4. Encoder, this is important for Macs. So if you have one of the M1 Macs or like a Mac with an integrated graphics card, you're just gonna choose this bad boy, the X264, because you don't have a graphics card. Okay, you have integrated graphics. So you're just gonna, that means the processor. So you're gonna use X264. For those of you who have like an AMD graphics card in your Mac, use the, uh, the Apple VT H264 hardware encoder. You could play around with the setting depending on the age of your Mac. It might actually be better to use the X264 depending on how old uh, the graphics card is. Uh, play around with it and just see what your performance looks like at the bottom right here. So we can see at the bottom right, my CPU's thinking about 10.7% and I'm locked at 60 frames. So that's good. That's a really low CPU percentage. Play around with this. If you find that your CPU spikes, change to a different encoder, find one that works best for you. But I definitely recommend hardware for people who have discrete graphics and then just the X264 for people who have integrated or the M1 chip max. This is the most important thing you need to change, the bit rate. So 
when you're streaming, you probably do about like seven to 11,000 kilobits per second. And that uh, equates to 11 megabits per second, which is kind of low, but that's easy on your internet connection to handle that upload speed. Cause you're uploading all that in real time. You're encoding the video and uploading it in real time. So you want to make it a bit lower, but for like video footage or footage that you're going to put in like a YouTube video, you want it as high as possible. So put it at 45,000 kilobits per second. That equates to 45 megabits per second and change the keyframe interval to, and then profile high, and then just hit okay. And then as you can see, um, this is just a preview through USB here. And like I said, with the Elgato HD60S Plus, it's pretty fluent, like the lag is minimal, but you might find a bit of a lag depending on the capture card that you have. So I wouldn't rely on looking at your preview screen here when you're playing the game. I would still use your uh, HDMI pass through on your capture card to play through your monitor or you're gonna get a little motion sickness or you're not gonna play as good. But that's pretty much it. So once you change those settings and then you hit record, start recording, that'll record your gameplay footage and that's how you get the maximum quality out of OBS. If you have an Elgato capture card, so the HD60S Plus, I would try using the Elgato game capture software because it uh, automatically records at the highest rate that it possibly can and it looks great. So that's usually what I use. But if you don't, use good old OBS and then if you change those settings, you're good to go. Well, that's it for me. Back to you, Talking Head Fornitron. All right, you did it, yay! Now that you know how to do this, you can have the highest quality video game footage for your videos, your social media, whatever you choose to use this for. With this skill, now you can make sure that your game footage looks just as good as your talking head footage. It's not pixelated or it's not compressed. Uh, you're getting the best quality video image that you possibly can. If you like how-to videos like this, let me know in the comments down below what you would like me to show you how to do next, what uh, your streaming setup or your video setup or your content creation. I always read the comments and I always look forward to ideas that I can come up with in the future. So selfish. Uh, but anyway, that's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna head out of here. Just do me one last favor. Have yourself a great day. Cheers, everybody.